During the 1990s, SUVs were mainly built on body-on-frame platforms shared with trucks, sacrificing ride comfort, handling, and a number of other features found on cars. But Lexus proved with its first-generation RX that you can have a vehicle that combines qualities of a car with a high seating position, greater ground clearance, and a cargo space. The idea concept behind the RX as a crossover between a luxury sedan and SUV was proposed in 1993 and the prototypes later went into testing in 1996 and before the RX introduction a concept sport utility vehicle was shown the SLV it was shown at the Chicago Auto Show in 1997 the SLV's name stood for sport luxury vehicle the production ready concept combined the characteristics of an SUV, wagon and sedan and featured high ground clearance and elevated seating positions. The concept's overall design intent was to be commonly used for suburban driving and at the debut uh, of the concept it was reported that the crossover was based on the ES300 uh, sedan which had a slightly modified uh, Camry platform and would go into production with the entry-level price of over uh, $30,000. The RX's interior design was not typical of uh, existing uh, four-door vehicles. It uh, featured uh, front triangular quarter windows, uh, door-mounted side mirrors, uh, rear tailgate with uh, top-mounted spoiler. The V6-powered model was available in front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive form. The uh, 3-liter was rated at uh, 220 horsepower and 222 pound-feet of torque. The transmission was a 4-speed automatic, offered a snow mode, which started the vehicle in second gear for better traction. The overall RX300 concept was based on market research, which found that only 7% of SUV owners drove off-road. And the interior features included walnut trim and an optional in dash 6 disc CD changer. Also featured leather trim, two rows of seating and a rear cargo area which could be concealed under cover. The center dashboard was dominated by a central uh, multi-information uh, screen for audio, climate and performance data. The gear shift was mounted at the base of the center console, leaving open space below for an additional storage space, legroom or just the movement to the passenger side seat. The RX300 sold over 370,000 units in its five years on the market. It was successful in terms of sales and became one of the best-selling Lexus models soon after its introduction and uh, its popularity contributed a lot to the growing premium crossover SUV market with several car manufacturers launching competing models. In 2000, a concept design of the second generation was approved with uh, first prototypes being tested in 2002. The new RX was introduced during the 2003 Detroit Auto Show featuring slicker body style and the new LED tail lamps. From the inside, RX330 interior featured walnut wood trim, dual uh, zone climate control, Available options included 11-speaker Mark Levinson premium sound system, navigation system with a backup camera and a panoramic three-panel moonroof and also heated seats. The car was badged as RX330, meaning it had a larger 3.3-liter V6 engine that produced 230 horsepower and 238 pound-feet of torque, paired with 5-speed automatic and also was offered either a front or all-wheel drive. New technology features included adaptive front lighting system with swivel headlights, uh, height adjustable air suspension on the all-wheel drive models, dynamic laser uh, cruise control system and rain sensing wipers. All North American models were initially built in Japan until September 2003 when the production of the RX330 began in Canada, 
For each year of the second and third generation RX, a small number of non-hybrid RXs were assembled in Japan. The Lexus RX400 Hybrid made its US debut in 2005 with over 9,000 pre-orders at the launch. The RX400 Hybrid became the first production premium hybrid vehicle when it went on sale in 2005. The RX400 featured a different front grille and round fog lights and also differently styled LED taillights compared to the regular RX. Its interior featured a hybrid information display on the navigation screen showing the work of the system in real time. Also a gasoline powered part of the RX400 engine system was 3.3 liter. Uh, very similar to one found on the RX330. It produced 208 horsepower and 212 pound-feet of torque. The gasoline engine was aided by a maximum of two additional electric motors, one driving the front wheels, producing 165 horsepower and connected to the continuously variable transmission, and the other driving the rear wheels, producing 67 horsepower. The whole system, called uh, Lexus Hybrid Synergy Drive, and produced a maximum of 268 horsepower. And under normal driving conditions, only the front motor and the gasoline engine were used, and uh, the rear motor was used under full throttle acceleration when the front wheels lost traction and uh, its nickel metal hybrid battery was responsible for powering the motors and uh, it was charged by the generators. And this has not only improved the fuel economy, but with the assistance of the electric motor, the RX400H could reach 0 to 60 in 7.3 seconds. It was quicker than the gasoline-only version. And with the increased performance, the RX400 hybrid consumed almost the same amount of gasoline as just a regular compact four-cylinder sedan. The RX400 served as the launch vehicle of the Lexus Hybrid lineup, which later expanded to include hybrid versions of other Lexus vehicles, including the GS450H, LS600H, and in 2009 the first ever designated hybrid, no gasoline model was available for this Lexus, it was Lexus HS250H. In 2006, the RX received a new 3.5-liter V6, replacing the 3.5-liter on non-hybrid models, updating the vehicle's name from RX330 to RX350. The second generation managed to continue the success of the original car, selling over 108,000 units just in 2006. It was the biggest selling luxury vehicle in the, in the US as well. And a later hybrid concept vehicle, the LFXH, introduced, uh, it introduced the third generation RX design direction. This LFXH, which stands for Lexus Future Crossover Hybrid, featured V6 engine with electric motors, LED headlights and the taillights, and the concept interior. Lexus RX debuted its third generation in 2008 and the EPA estimated fuel economy was improved at 21 mile per gallon combined for the front wheel drive uh, RX 350 also featured a revised 3.5 liter V6 engine producing 275 horsepower. The third generation RX new transmission helped to improve fuel economy as well. A double wishbone rear suspension setup replaced the previous McPherson setup, designed to improve handling and also a better cargo space. The RX's new exterior styling adapts the new design language that was introduced with the concept. And the exterior features included the rear spoiler, which hides the rear window wiper and the radio antenna, creating a less cluttered appearance. Also, the new navigation system no longer used the touch screen, instead replacing it with Lexus's remote touch controller, similar to a function of the computer mouse. In July 2010, all-electric Lexus RX was developed in partnership with Tesla. 
The RX was fitted with Tesla's designed battery pack and it uh, also is going to be used uh, as a test mule for electric vehicle development by Toyota. Lexus debuted the new generation RX at the 2015 New York Auto Show and this new RX features 295 horsepower version of the 3.5 liter V6 engine it is paired to 8-speed automatic transmission and the gasoline engine and the electric motor of the RX 450 hybrid also reach a combined power of uh, 308 horsepower for the first time in the US market, Lexus released the F-Sport version of the RX Hybrid, the RX 450H F-Sport. The uh, North American RX models are manufactured in Canada and have about 25% of their parts coming from Japan. And RX is also manufactured in Toyota's plant in Japan for markets outside of North America with uh, 64% of its parts coming from Japan. And as we all remember, it all started with Toyota RAV4 that created the compact sport utility segment and became one of the most influential SUVs in the world. And now with RX, Toyota made it again when it launched the Lexus RX 300 back in the uh, 90s. If effectively creating the luxury crossover segment and where RX remains as one of the best-selling luxury SUVs in the world. That's all I have for you today, guys. Check out my channel for my other videos. But for now, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.